Fox's acid roots. Hope you like the intro. We're gonna continue messing with Super Metroid. Now this is once again, like I have been saying normally lately, these some of these are just kind of minor progress, but you gotta understand that there's probably only like six or seven bosses in the game. And you know, probably only six or seven items. So all the items you'll get in the game for the most part are on the top hand part of that screen where the missiles are. So it's only how much more we're gonna get. So we're gonna get some new tricks and techniques and probably in the next episode we'll get even more. So I would estimate I I still have not gotten the power bomb, which I need to get and I don't remember where to get it. I don't know if I wanna do a blind or if I'm just gonna look quickly through a playthrough and do that, but I wanna get the power bomb and fight the Crocomire. Probably that will happen in episodes eight and nine and so on. And uh my cat is having fun with my conversation, so I'm dealing with that, so But yeah, so we just gotta keep getting these techniques and shit. But um so it's been a relatively sparse day once again. I went to Taco Bell, got a Crunchwrap Supreme. And that helped me out with my vlog channel. It's kind of like, geez. I mean, Taco Bell. I said this somewhere in another video, which will probably show up this fall, but, uh,. You know, Taco Bell's decisions have been kind of pissing me off. I know it's because of COVID-19, but it's no excuse to, uh, as the stupidest thing ever, to use a virus to decide not to keep making food items. And more restaurants are kind of following suit, and it's, it's just it's idiotic. It's the whole thing about it, so. But, you know, as it's Labor Day weekend, as I do this, you know, people are going out and about, and it's like... <laughs> I mean, we can that you know the beaches will be open, but we can't make a damn burrito at Taco Bell and shit, you know. So, I've also got some more shit coming with uh, acid roots. I'm trying to do. I just have to get the hours, and then I'll be able to, of course, get that underway. So I gotta put the cat out. You know, if it were not the damn space bar that hit pause on audacity when I record this I would have no problem with the cat being in here when I record this stuff but she likes to lay right from the, the keyboard you know, the space bar is the first key that you can hit I mean, if it were like the three key the six key the F5 key it'd be so much different even the backspace key I'd be like whatever you know it has to be the goddamn space bar so but yeah, so this is kind of a short episode just because I kind of got lost in this and this was the last bit. I, I did like a 30 minute gameplay in the first 8 minutes of this and then the last 3 minutes after I figured out that I was lost it was just me getting the item that I was trying to get. So that's I did all this back in July so I, I need to get back to recording Super Metroid but this has been relatively sparse. You gotta understand, once again, this is not a very long game. I mean, honestly, if you know what you're doing, you can probably beat it in about four or five hours. If you don't, it probably takes more like 12 or 15, but it's just not, it's not a full day game. I mean, most people probably beat this within a couple weeks. That's all it really takes, even when it, even back in 1994, so. It's like the mainstay issue with what's going on here. I mean, it's one of the greatest games ever, but it's still kind of, uh, I mean, that's just the main thing about it is it's, uh, very brief. 
but yeah, I'm gonna tackle this game a little bit more. I'm doing a lot of juggling. That's the thing. I'm always doing juggling on Acid Roots. I just wrapped up like the Ryu playthrough in Street Fighter 2, and eventually I'm gonna do the Ken playthrough. I have some more tricks up my sleeve that are gonna come within the next several days or so, but uh, I need to kind of get that in motion. So I'm gonna do the Ken playthrough. And honestly, I mean, it pissed me off when I beat the game with Ryu just because Capcom told me to beat it on a higher difficulty. And the thing they don't under seem to understand is just paying attention to the actual challenge. Because even when it's on the lower rungs of difficulty, the boss characters are still boner-biting bastards. And that just is kind of the thing. I mean, you really have to... Vega, Sagat, and M. Bison are all said boner biting bastards like like I was saying and it's this real royal pain in the ass trying to counter them I can't imagine fighting M. Bison on like 8 difficulty or something like that it's just like he can go to hell Sagat can go to hell but this game kind of is like that but then it really isn't I mean Ridley is probably the worst boss in the game and even Mother Brain is relatively simple so but here's about where we start getting lost, so this is where you get, and I guess I could just spoil it, you get the Ice Beam, and uh, I don't really know how to do it, so I'm going to kind of trouble and toil for a couple of minutes, but then by the end of this episode we will have the Ice Beam, and then in subsequent episodes 8 and 9 we're going to, like I said, get the Power Bomb, fight the Crocomire, and eventually get to the second main boss, say by part 11 or so we should be doing that. So I'm just going to have to kind of get that in motion, but I basically got all the techniques minus the spacer beam. So I, and that kind of pissed me off just because that's way back there and I didn't realize it, but I mean I'm getting it, I'm just kind of doing it my own way. And so obviously you need the ice beam to be able to climb on these things, just taking pointless damage. So... Yeah, so we're just going to be kind of lost for a couple of minutes. It'll, it'll dawn on me, it's not in this recording session. Uh -huh. I'm trying to think, of, I didn't watch the news today, I mean today is Saturday, I, I normally watch the news Monday through Friday, but every now and then if it's really, if I'm fevered up for it, I'll watch Saturday's news. I just wasn't in the mood today. Had other shit going on. I'm just trying to figure out my uh, issues with what I want to tackle right now, so kind of how I felt about it, you know. But I need to start. I'm kind of getting tired of the Super Nintendo a little bit. I need to start thinking of some other stuff I can do, but, you know, once you beat all the good Super Nintendo games, you do eventually have to move on. I thought about doing, like, Game Boy stuff also, but, you know, I'd have, I don't really have that many Game Boy games, and there's really not that many good Game Boy games either, so, I probably can't defeat them on top of that. It's a whole other prospect just to kind of talk about there, but it's kind of like, Something will happen. I, I need to get a damn Game Boy player so I could do Game Boy Advance games because that actually has a healthy library. Just the problem with it is, is it's like an upwards of like 70 to 100 something dollars just to get the disc for the Game Boy player, the Game Boy player device, and just, you know, whatever else need necessary to do it. It's kind of annoying. And obviously even then I'd have to use a GameCube controller and I really, I used to like the GameCube controller as a teenager, but I don't really care for it now. So. Here we go, we're going to get the ice speed. And we will need it to progress, because otherwise we're stuck. So you have to figure this out if you get fucked enough to have to come into this area. So, just know that. Yeah, 
yeah, this is like I was saying, you know, we just gotta get things in motion. This was as far as my July planning went. So obviously it just I can eke out another episode, but I, I do need to get some more gameplay going. I've got a bunch of shit I need to do. I need to kind of wrap up Final Fantasy and get that a little bit further, but I've been a little bit lazy in that regard too. But at least an episode came out in August. I mean, mostly last month was just me dealing with Blackthorn. But now that that's taken care of, I just have the ability to focus on some of these other ones. I can probably knock out this game before Halloween. I plan on doing so. so or, well, I, I don't want you to take my word for it, but it's gonna, it'll be beat. I can safely say that. But, uh... Yeah, so next few episodes we're going to get some more techniques, Samus is going to get even stronger, more potent, a bounty hunter, and we're going to fight some boss characters that really uh, can fuck off for all I give a shit. But you'll see as they, I mean, Kraid kind of pissed me off when I fought him, if you remember that little battle, he actually gave me more trouble than I'd care to admit, but ultimately I was hurting him, I just didn't have, I just didn't use my missiles wisely. So, Alright folks, that should about do it for this episode. There's still another 20 seconds, but we're just going to go to a save point and that mostly takes care of it. Here we are. Alright, so subscribe for more fun. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful night.